Awesome. So this is going to be the recorded session for using support and resistance to find entry points um, on the Liberty Scanner, but it can be applied to HFX and Forex as well. Um, just so I don't forget, this video is recorded on August 6, 2021 at 10.15 a.m. So first and foremost, um, I always just like to, by now you guys should know the basic steps before you get into a trade. Always make sure you do your fundamental analysis, which just includes checking the news, right? It's three types of analysis, fundamental, check the news, technical, check your indicators and sentimental. How are you feeling about this trade? If you feel like it might go the opposite way, hold off a little bit and wait, but always start with your fundamental analysis because you need a realistic view of what's going on in the market. So we just gonna check Forex Factory. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just so our analysis is not in vain. Um, look at this. So when checking Forex Factory, you wanna avoid any currency pair that has a red folder two hours before or after the time that you wanna trade. So right now it's about 10.30 and I can see at 8.30, which is about two hours ago, um, CAD and USD and GBP all had red folders. So <laughs> I'm just gonna drop this in the chat so that I don't forget which ones not to trade or which ones to be extremely cautious with. Um, there's USD, CAD, and GBP is coming out of that era. Um, so if you see that, it pretty much just means that the market is gonna be moving very volatile. Um, we know that the market goes up and down. Sometimes it's very stagnant and it'll stay at one place. And sometimes it's very fast and we may get spiked out of the trade even at the last second. Um, checking the news can help you manage that particular risk because you'll have an idea as if is the market moving steady, is the market moving a little bit unsteady, or is the market completely unpredictable right now? Um, and the red folders are just letting you know that the market is completely unpredictable right now. Orange folders, it's a little bit unsteady. And yellow, you're good to go. The best thing to see is no folder at all, right? So that's step one, always check the news to get the climate of the market because you don't just want to hop in based on what was happening yesterday or what was happening a few hours ago because things really change. Now, the second part of your fundamental analysis, you're going to want to check the currency strength meter just to see how the currencies are playing against each other. The easiest way to kind of choose a currency pair is to figure out which one has a huge discrepancy, meaning one currency pair has a high amount of bars the other currency pair has a, a little amount of bars. So for example, we know we're avoiding USD, J, USD right now, but if we were to look at USD JPY, that would be a good choice just because, because the difference in the strengths are so different, we know that the market is gonna be going either one way or the other, which is also gonna help us find better entry points. Um, so let's see what we actually can trade. Now you can uh, go back and forth between checking your, choosing your payout and checking the currency strength. But um, as long as you do these three steps before you get into the market, you'll be fine. Um, so we are supposed to be avoiding USD, CAD and GBP. All right, Euro AUD. All right, so we're gonna be using Euro AUD for right now. Um, it is over 70% which is good. That's all we're looking for, just to make sure that we're getting a return on our money. Um, that means that if we risk $100 uh, with a 77% payout, we're going to be making $177 back, which is good. We don't want to have a low payout because it, it kind of defeats the purpose of getting into that trade. Yes, you can make money, but if you lose, you just lost a lot more than you gained, which was not worth it, right? So we got Euro AUD. Um, once you're on the correct currency pair, just drop EA in the chat. And let's see how it's doing against each other. Now, this isn't bad, right? Looking at the currency strength, this is not bad at all. Euro still has more bars than AUD. Um, and it is the first currency, meaning that it's looking like it's going to try to drive the market up for a buy. Um, so as you're working through your analysis, whether you're going to be doing HFX one-minute trade or FRX 15-minute um, trades or longer, um, you just want to keep a little tally of what is going on. So, so far with Euro AUD, let me just write it right here so I don't forget. Okay, so, so far with Euro AUD, um, I see that the Euro has more strength than AUD. So, I'm going to just give the buyers the first point. Um, and I could kind of assess that this market may be going up right now based on this analysis. Now, again, I do encourage y'all to test in your demo after you check every confirmation. So, the first confirmation says, 
market is going up, right? If I get in for a buy, I just want to test that theory. Now, again, you don't, oh, that's a three minute trade. So again, you don't just want to get into the trade after every confirmation, like in your live account, but you do want to test it out in your demo to say, okay, they said the market's going up. Is that true? It looked like the market instantly went up. Not only can we see that, but we also see that the buyers are in control. So, so far, so good. It looks like if we're going to do anything, we should be looking for a buy. Um, if it makes sense so far, guys, uh, we're, we're not getting into any real trades yet. We're just checking the confirmations as we work through the confirmations, right? And this will help you with your entry points if you understand each step along the way, right? Instead of waiting until you get to the end, right? We're just checking. So we saw that the market shot up. Again, we see as more buyers in the market. We know they have the potential to drive the market up. Um, but right now, well, the three-minute trade is, uh, is still going. The three-minute trade is still going. So if this makes sense, y'all, that we're just checking the confirmations, it says the market's going up, the market's going up, we just had the check, right? Drop an MS in the chat. And if you actually took that trade, because I know some people probably did, um, just drop your entry point in the chat and let us know um, when you clear, right? And for this training, y'all can use one minute or three minute trades because I'm going to be going back and forth between both. Um, but you can choose whatever you want so you can see how the market moves. Like you really can see how it moves. You have to test it out. All right, awesome. So we're going to let this trade do what it do. We're going to come back in a second to see if it cleared. But let's keep going back to our confirmations because, again, one is not enough. It, it gave us a confirmation. Okay, cool. This market is buying, but let's actually keep going. So we know we find our entry points and we do most of our analysis on the Gold Liberty Scanner. Everybody has access to this if you have the HFX package. Um, if you don't have the HFX package, you can get the Liberty Scanner as an add-on for $50 a month, uh, which is completely worth it. It just depends on what you're gonna be focusing on. So you come to the Liberty Scanner and So you come to the Liberty Scanner and it's not automatically going to be on the currency pair that you want it to be on. So you have to, again, make sure it's lined up. We know because we wrote it down. So we're going to go to Euro AUD. And we're going to select M5. Oh, we're not going to be using this strategy either, guys. We're going to be using... Which strategy would like would y'all like to learn more about today? The first strategy that's, that I see is the first strategy we're going to use. All right, Mindy said Web Slinger. Uh, Web Slinger is pretty simple, but all right, let's see. Because Web Slinger is, let's see if it's if it's gonna work in this case, which it should. It should. All right, Web Slinger. So Web Slinger is actually again the first strategy you see when you come to Liberty Scanner. You want to make sure you choose your currency pair. We're gonna do Euro AUD, um, and we're gonna look at it for the fifteen minutes. Right, because when using Web Slinger, it is meant to be used for a longer time analysis. Um, and this is this is going to be pretty pretty simple, y'all. But when you're doing using Web Slinger, you want to check the confirmations over three time frames, right? And you want to get three confirmations, and you want to use three minute trades. So this strategy I'm going to show y'all is called Web Slinger, but three 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 strategy, right? Because we're going to check it on the 15, we're going to check it on the five, we're going to check it on the one. Right, and we are going to be using three minute trades if we're going to be using Web Slinger. So, because Web Slinger is a strategy that you want to use when the market is trending very strong in one direction. The other strategies are for consolidation if the market is bouncing between two points. Um, so cool. So, when we come to the Web Slinger, we choose our currency pair and you want to put it on M15 first. Now, we're not doing too much different stuff that we usually do but we are gonna still add our horizontal lines to the current candle. So all I did was come to the left panel, right? I'm gonna add my horizontal line. I'm just gonna make it black. I'm gonna change the width so that I can actually see the line. And all we're gonna do is the same thing three times, y'all. We're gonna put a horizontal line at the top of the candle. We're gonna put a horizontal line at the bottom of the candle, right? So that's in the 15. That's in the 15. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the five, right? We're gonna do the same thing on the five because look, the entry points are actually very close and they're very the same. So we're gonna do the same thing on the five. We're going to put it at the top of the candle and you could overlap it, but that'll make sense. You just wanna know that they're close, right? 
and you're going to do the same thing in the one. Okay, look at that. So the one is actually where things start to change. All right. And the reason why you want to do this is because you pretty much want to confirm on every time frame who's in control of the market and what is the overall trend because that's going to help you decide if you really should take that trade or not. Right? Now you can do this on the 1 minute but the one minute really won't give you a 100% accurate depiction because you're supposed to be looking at this over the course of a trending market. So let's go back to the 15, right? And let's see who's in control of the market because you know we always ask ourselves these questions. So what color is the current candle? The current candle is red, right? So we're going to give a point to the sellers. Now, on this strategy, it's still the same trigger words. For a buy, it will be up, above, higher, blue, over. And for a sell, it'll be red, below, under, down, lower. So we can see what colors the current candle is red. Is the candle above or below the strings? It's kind of in the middle, right? So if it's in the middle, it's not above or below. Nobody's just going to get a point for that. Um, is it below or under the clouds? It's below. All right, so let's get a point. What color is the cloud? Forecast it is red. So in the 15 minute, it's looking like the trend for the sell is very strong. Now we gotta do the same thing on the five, right? And you really wanna confirm this because web slinger is, it's not tricky, but the stronger the trend, the better chance you have at clearing. So you ask yourself the same questions. What color is the current candle? All right, we got blue. Is it above or below the strings? Is in the middle, we don't answer. Is it above or below the clouds? Is in the middle, we don't answer. And what color is the cloud forecast? It is red. So, so far we have a strong selling trend. Right, we have we have a strong selling trend, and let's do the same thing in the one minute. Same questions, same questions. What color is the current candle? Blue. Is it above or below the clouds? In the middle. Is it above the clouds? It's in the middle. And what color is the cloud? Cloud blue. So in this case, y'all, we literally got a four and four. So we really can take the trade either way. But lucky for us, we already have our entry points. That's why you always put. That's why you always put the lines at the top of the candle and at the bottom of the candle. So this is what we see, y'all. We see that in the one minute, right, we can take a one minute trade for a buy, right? You could take a one minute trade for a buy because although the market is trending more so for a sell, we have a blue candle on the smallest time frame. So on the one minute, you could take a buy. But if you were looking at it on the five or the 15, in general, this market is a little sketchy. We really see it's half and half, but based on a smaller time frame, we could take a buy. Based on a smaller time frame, I'm going to look at another currency pair, y'all, um, just to see if we can get a different trend. But let's see, because another candle just formed. So on the one minute we have, we can get into a trade. It has to be on the one minute, y'all. One minute trade. It has to be one minute, seven eighty one or lower, right for a buy. Because on the one minute, we can see that that's what the market is doing, but that's not what it's doing overall. So on the one minute, we can get into a buy, 781 or lower. So let's test that out. Let's change it to one minute. Or y'all, definitely set a pending order so we can just move through the rest of the training. Let's set a pending order for 781 for the buy. And it got to be a one minute trade. and we're gonna go for a buy all right cool so once you guys have set up your pending orders for 781 just drop some sevens in the chat oops let me delete that oh look it triggered that fast y'all it actually triggered that fast if you just got into the trade at 781 just say I'm in, but if you set the pending order, just say I'm in as well, because we're all, we should all be into the trade at this point. If you set the trade, if you set it. All right. All right. And do you guys have 18 seconds left? Same time. Yeah, exactly. That's why it had to be one minute. It had to be one minute, y'all. Let me know if y'all cleared the trade because you should have cleared. If you got in, you should have cleared. 
And it's still going up, still going up. All right. Whoever got into the trade, like y'all should have cleared. Let me know. <laughs> that is crazy. Dang. All right. Awesome. 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 If it makes sense, y'all, if it makes sense, drop a MS in the chat. Um, I will do another example. I will do another example, right? If you need another example, drop a question mark in the chat. Okay. Okay. All right, so we'll do another example with the web slinger, right? Because the web slinger is for trending markets, you want to actually look at it over several different trends, which is why you check it over multiple time frames. So we're gonna do another pair. We're gonna take it from the top. We're gonna to take it from the top. I'm going to choose which ones can't we do? All right, we can't do USD, CAD, GBP. All right, y'all. So we're gonna go to Euro NZD. So when you get to Euro NZD, put E N in the chat. Put E N so I know that you are caught up and with me. Okay, 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 awesome. So let me do it over here too. Euro NZD. All right, so when you're using the web slinger, the only difference between this and the other strategies is that you're just doing your analysis three times instead of one time, just to confirm that what you're looking at is actually what you're looking at. So if you wanna do it like this, you can, just so you can say what the trend is, right? So I'm gonna do it different this time. I'm gonna write 15 minute, I'm gonna write five minute, and I'm gonna write one minute because this is the analysis I'm looking for. And I'll write buyers and sellers. Right, and this may seem like a lot, y'all, but it really is like an extra two seconds in, in everything that you have to do. So the questions you ask yourself on this strategy is, what color is the current candle? That's question number one. Question number two is, is the candle above the web strings? And these are the web strings. Is it above or below the web strings? Right, above would mean it's going for a buy. Below would mean it's going for a sell. The third question you ask yourself is, is my candle above or below the cloud? And this is the cloud. If it's above, again, it's for a buy. If it's below, it's for a sell. And the last question you ask yourself is, what color is forecasted, right? Red or blue? If it's red is forecasted, that means that it's forecasted to continue to sell or it's forecasted to start selling soon. If it's blue, that means that it's forecasted to buy. So the trigger words are always the same for a buy. If you answer blue up above, higher over, if those are the answer to your questions, any questions that you ask up above, over, higher, or blue, you know that the buyers are gonna get that point. And if the sellers get the confirmation, which the words would be red, below, down, lower, under, um, the sellers will get the point. So those are the questions and those are the answers. So let's go. On the 15 minute, what color is the current candle? It's blue. Is the candle above or below the web strings? It's above. Is it above or below the clouds? It's below. Is the cloud red or blue? It's red, right? So in the 15 minute, we can see that the market is consolidating, right? It's not really buying or selling. Um, it's just, it's consolidating because it's even. Right, so now let's take it down to the five and ask ourselves the same exact questions. What color is the current candle? It's blue. Is the candle above or below the web strings? It's above. Is it above or below the clouds? It's above. Um, and what color is the cloud forecasted? It's forecasted red. So in the five minute, we could probably go for a buy, right? Now let's do the one minute because most people like trading on the one minute, but we need to see where the confirmation is the strongest, right? What color is the current candle? Blue. Is it above or below the web strings? Above. Is it above or below the cloud? Above. Is the cloud forecasted blue or red? Blue, right? So we know that we got the buy. So if we were to tally this up, right? We have two confirmations for the buy, one consolidation confirmation, and this will be dependent on the market watch. Are the buyers currently in control, which is a question you know we ask ourselves. But for the most part, it's looking like we can go for a buy, right? Because on the five minute and one minute, that trend is confirmed. 
right? If it's making sense, y'all now drop an MS in the chat, right? On the five minute and one minute, we see that it's a strong buying trend. And on the 15 minute, it can literally go either way. So now that we have done our confirmations on all time frames, let's get our horizontal lines like we always do. This part never changes. We're gonna put a horizontal line at the bottom of the candle and we're gonna put one at the top of the candle. We know if it's at the bottom, that's where we buy. So we know that as seven, on the one minute time frame, oh, let's move this up. On the one minute time frame, we know that we can buy at 701 or lower, right? 701 or lower will be a great entry for a buy because we have everything we need on the one minute time frame for a buy, right? We have everything we need on the one minute time frame for a buy. Now, if we want to go back to the five, we would do the same thing and move it down, right? And we would move it down and we say, okay, at 631, we could buy, but that's that's too low. We just, Let's just go back to the one. Let's go back to the one. And we have, again, 701 or lower for a buy um, because the trend was confirmed very strong. So currently right now, the market is at 718, 721, 725. We know that we need it to be at 701 or lower. We're not going to focus on that sell. I mean, you could get in for a sell because you have the entry point right there, right? You have it right there. You could get in at 743, but since you have so many confirmations for a buy, it's like it really wouldn't make sense to do that, right? Look at that. Low, low drop, very low drop, right? I got in two entries. Let If y'all got in, please tell me you got in and what your entry point is. Please, 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 please. Like, because everybody should be in extremely deep profits right now. Right? Everybody should be in extremely deep profits right now. Right? This is the web slinger, y'all. Web slinger is for the trend. If you can confirm that trend is strong, it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap, y'all. This is the strategy that you use for multiple entries, right? You confirm the trend and you go about your business, right? Go about your business because that is what it's for. Simple scalper is what is what you guys mainly see. You see, all right, this is the entry point for this. This is the entry point for that. But the web slinger is telling you this is the trend. This trend is very strong. It's going to keep going. We have 10 seconds left. This market is going to continue to be driven up. Granted, it's going to have another dramatic dip down. It's going to have another dramatic dip down, and that's when I would get back in. But that's what the web slinger is for, y'all. Confirm the trend and go about your business, right? Everybody should have cleared. Everybody should have cleared if you got into that trade, right? Everybody. Good, 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 good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. I love it. I love it. Who is close to their daily goal? If you're close to your daily goal, drop a one in the chat. If you're close to your daily goal, drop a one in the chat. All right, cool. All right, you you broke even, Jackie. That's not bad. If you would have gotten for the maybe the three minute, you would be in profit. Um, and that's the thing too, guys. Um, because the web slinger is for trending markets, and it's expected that the trend is going to continue longer, you can actually capitalize on taking longer trades because you know the trend is going to continue. So you can actually take an entry. Let's say for the people that took, let's say six ninety and seven oh one. That's really good because you know the market is going to continue to go in that direction. So not only let's see, not only let's see if you get in at the same time twice. And I'm going to demonstrate. You guys don't have to do this because this market is going to keep doing the same thing. Look how strong the trend was for the last 15 minutes. That's why you do it over a longer time frame because you can keep doing the same thing without having to go back to your chart. So we know that the entry point is um, 780, 681 or something like that. Um, so let's just say it's going to dip back down. Y'all don't get in now. This is really an example. Don't get in now. So you can actually get in at the same entry point twice. All right, I'm going to just do it for a sale. Don't do that, y'all. You can get in at the same entry twice or, okay, y'all see how I got in down there, but I see it's going to keep going up. Get in again. So now, and then it keeps going up. You literally don't do this, y'all. Really don't do this right now for a sale. If you see 
that the market is going to keep going in one direction, you can keep taking entries as it's going in that direction, right? So look at this, y'all. If I knew this market was going to sell at 743 and I got in at 743 and I know it's going to keep going down because I already know what my support is too, I can sell from 743, which is my resistance, all the way to 681, which is my support, right? If that makes sense, y'all. Don't take that resistance because that was an old resistance, but I just wanted to demonstrate how it would look if y'all was to take multiple entries on a trending market, right? So if that makes sense, y'all. All right, thank you. Drop an MS in the chat. You already know, right? You already know. Um, but what time is it? All right. All right, cool. So that is the web slinger um, for entry points. If you guys get it, drop sevens in the chat. If you need one more example, we have 10 minutes and we can do another demonstration. Um, yeah, good, Jackie, good. Like it's gonna keep doing the same thing. It's gonna keep doing the same thing, y'all. And we know this is a buying market because we got the confirmation Right, we got the confirmation on the five, the 15, and the one that this was buying, y'all. This market has shot up 100 points since that confirmation. 100 points, y'all, based on confirming the trend, right? Confirming the trend. So y'all said it makes sense. Y'all said y'all good. I will do one more example. Uh, let's do... I keep forgetting which ones we can't do. CAD, USD, and GBP, I think. Um, all right, y'all, let's try AUDJPY. Let's try AUDJPY, AUDJPY. Let's see what's happening with AUDJPY. All right, y'all, so of course, you choose your currency pair based on the payout. You make sure you choose the correct currency pair on your web slinger, AUDJPY. Oh, this looks amazing, right? Now you do the 15. Oh, this looks so good, y'all. So you do the 15 and you can have a little trading notebook. Don't try to do this mentally if you can't. It only takes five seconds to write it down. I literally keep a little trading journal next to me um, so I can write down my stuff. So we got the 15, the five, the one, we got the buyers, we got the sellers, right? So let's go through this and see what's really good, right? So in the 15 minute, what color is the current candle? It's red. Is it above or below the web streams? It's below. Is it above or below, below the clouds? It's below. The cloud, it looks like it's forecasted red. So far, that looks like a strong selling trend to me, right? Now on the five minute, you wanna do the same exact thing. You're gonna say, what color is the current candle? It's blue. Is it above or below the strings? Below, it's below the clouds, but it's forecasted to buy. All right, it's a little bit of consolidation in the five minutes. It's a little sketchy right there. So now the woman is really gonna determine what's going on. Are we buying and selling or is this a consolidating market? But I can already see it's consolidating, right? So what color is the candle? The candle is blue. It is below the strings. It's below the clouds. The cloud is red. All right, so, 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 so it looks like I should be selling, right? I know I'm having a little bit of consolidation on the five minute, but in the one minute and the overall trend is a sell. So if the market watches in my favor, I should be able to take this trade with no problem, right? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take our horizontal line after we confirm the overall trend is sell um, on the one minute is a sell, five minute consolidation, 15 minute sell. After we confirm that, do what you always do, put a horizontal line at the top of the candle and at the bottom of the candle, right? The top line, no matter what, whether the candle is red, blue, whatever, the top line is where we sell. So we know that at 138, right? At 138 or at five points around 145 or higher, between 138 and 145, you should be able to get in for a sell. Um, and you should clear. Let me take this off my screen, it's too much. So between 138 and 140, you should be able to get in for a sale. Um, 
let's just test it out. And that's in the one minute, right? Between 138 and 145, I said, right? We should be able to sell on the one minute. Um, on the five, we could try to find the entry, but uh, I will focus. I wouldn't focus on the five minute. I wouldn't focus on the five. Only because it was consolidating there. So let's just wait for this little push up. Um, and also, if you want to test it out again, take a one minute or three minute trade. I'm gonna do both just to demonstrate so we can see. We waiting for 138. It's having a hard time getting there, but it will. Let's see what the new candle does on the one minute. And again, y'all, we didn't do nothing different. We just adjust our line. So now we got 128 or higher for a sell. One twenty-eight or higher for a sell. Yes, keep going. There we go. I got the three minute, and I'm gonna take a one minute to trade as well. Did y'all get into that trade? Did y'all get into the trade? I got in for a three minute trade. I'm gonna take it again for a one. Trend is very strong. Trend is strong. I got in at um. 126 on the one minute and 120. So I got in at the same place on the one and the three. So we're about to see how this play out. If y'all got in, drop I'm in in the chat. All right. And what is y'all entry point? And how long are y'all in for? What's your entry point and how long are you in? The three minute trade should be okay. The one minute is looking well, depending on where you got in for the one, 128. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. 131 minute, 131. Okay, so everybody should have cleared three minutes still in profit. Um, we are expecting it to continue to drop just because the trend was strong. If the sellers can stay in control right here, then um the five minute is going to be pushed out of consolidation and into a seller's mode, right? 131. Jackie, you love your too many trades. I love it. <laughs> you should be about to clear as well. Y'all should be about to clear as well. Everybody should be about to clear, honestly. Yes, 3 and 0. Yes. Yo, if y'all feeling the web slinger, right? Drop web slinger in the chat. If y'all feeling, because web slinger is the confirmations is so strong because of the trend it's like uh, i ain't gonna say you could never go wrong but um it's a little hard to go wrong with that it's a little hard yep web slinger is the truth so yeah i like yeah simple scalper is for when the market is like let's just say the market keeps bouncing up like we know that it just sold at 128 let's just say it keep bouncing between 100 Let's say I keep bouncing between 100 and 128, right? So I just got in for a buy at 100. Now, when the market is consolidating, that means that you can keep buying and selling between the same two points. Um, but yeah, y'all, it's been real. Again, my schedule is now again open for 101s. I only have 14 spots left. Yesterday it was 20. Um, just go to, I'll drop the link in the chat. I don't know if I did yesterday. Look at this beautiful clearing on both sides of the market. Gotta love it. Gots to love it. Gotta love it. Um, but yeah, if y'all want that, that was one on one. So you really become a sniper. You can teach yourself better. You can teach your team. Um, I do got the time finally because I've been outside, y'all. But yeah, we about to clear this buy in this sell. Awesome, 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 awesome sauce. Look at this record, y'all. I don't know what happened down here, <laughs> but we was doing pretty good. We was doing pretty good. So what's everybody's record for today? Ooh, y'all undefeated. Three and oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Three and oh, nice, nice, nice. Ooh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I see nothing but undefeated, 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 undefeated. All right, Margaret, three and one, not bad. Undefeated. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, if you need the one-on-one, -on -one, y'all, I will drop this recording and I'll also drop, I don't even know what happened last night, y'all. I was asleep, <laughs> I was asleep. Um, 
But I love y'all. I'll see y'all later. 101s are open. And yeah, let's get this money and withdraw. All right, Vanessa, just text me. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a great weekend.